Hey guys, this is a, another truck and mechanican video, another truck and mechanican for you, about the, uh, the Ford flickering headlight problem. That's a common issue with this body style, I don't know what the year range is, but this is a 92, and it had the problem. But I've seen online uh, people trying to uh, problem solve it. And I believe we found, at least it fixed it for this truck anyway. I did this several months ago and haven't had a problem since. But people online were saying to replace the headlight switch. And they were saying to replace the the high and low beam. Which is over here, this multi-function switch when you pull it backwards. Pull it backwards to make it hold high beam while you're holding it. And push it forward to actually switch from high beam to low beam. But in my experience, I don't think... I don't think that that's uh, the case. It seems to be from what we've read online. The problem is, is uh, Ford didn't use a relay. They do now, or they did after. I guess that's how they corrected the problem, I would imagine. But this this switch is only only rated for so much power. I don't know how much that is. Apparently it handles it for a long time because it took like 20 years for this truck to have that problem. But it seems to me, from what we've read all over the internets, what it is is the electricity from the battery to the switch to the headlight is is full headlight current. Like everything the headlights are consuming is running through the little contacts inside the switch. So supposedly, what happens is is the little contacts when you pull the switch open and you I mean pull the switch closed, you know pull it back and turn it on, the contacts touch. And the power is flowing, and then after a while, when things get warmed up, those contacts get hot, and the metal, uh, the metal moves, like deflects, I guess is the word, but the metal gets hot and it stresses, and then when it moves, the contact is broken, the headlights turn off, and then there's no more power flowing through the switch, it cools rapidly, and then they make contact again. And then it does this pretty quickly, and every few seconds your headlights go off, and then back on, and then off, and then back on. And they're also not very bright, like they're really, really weak looking. So what we did, what I've read online, what other people said, I just haven't seen a video on YouTube about it, is we put two relays in. So now, yeah, this looks like a complicated mess of wiring, but I have, there's four relays over here. Two of them are over there. But I have wiring for, uh, for my headlights and for LED light bar in the front and in the back, so that's why there's so much wiring here. But these two two relays are my high and low beam for the headlights. And it was actually really, really amazing how simple it was to put these in. All you need to do is get a four-pole four pole relay. And you see this here? This is the magnet, what turns your switch on and off. There's a ground, one side or the other. And the other side is a constant power. And then over here is your headlight. Like, say, the open part of the switch here, this is where you want the power to go, your headlight. And this is where you want the power to come from, your battery. So, what goes right here, keep in mind, either or of these can be a ground. One of these goes to the ground, and the other one goes, you're going to cut the wire going to your headlight. Let's see if I can get you down in there to see any of that. Well, it's kind of taped up. You can't really see what I'm talking about. But the wire going to your headlight, you're going to cut it, leaving enough room coming off the headlight to work with. And the, the part going to the headlight, this is coming from your headlight switch. It's going to go right here, or here, whichever, turning this electro. Hi, Nova. It's the neighbor's dog, Nova. How you doing, Nova? Hi Nova, you're on YouTube. Hi, say hi on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. But one of these is ground and the other one is going to be that wire coming from your harness, coming from that switch. So when you turn the headlight switch on, it will power this relay. Now over here is the other end of that wire you just cut. The wire coming off of your headlight, it's going to hook to this side. And now, the last pole you're going to have, there's ground coming from the truck, going to the headlight. Now the last wire you're going to have is the uh, one of the few bits of wiring you actually have to do to do this. 
and that's just a short length of wire. It's in the middle of all that. And a fusible, a fusible link. Let's see if I can open it. <laughs> it's a really good case. Is that... Yes, this is the one for my, my headlight fix. I actually ran both relays off of one fuse, but you could run one fuse per relay. Seems to me you're protected either way. But that's the last pole. That's your direct power. Now, when you flip the switch in your truck, instead of electricity running from here, all through the wiring, in the cab, to your weak little switch, back out of the cab to the headlights, now that switch turns on this switch, which is what a relay is, it's an electronic switch, electronically operated switch. When you turn your headlights on, that switch runs a little tiny amount of current to this guy, which turns it on, and all the big current that your headlight switch can't handle after a while comes from straight from the battery, through the fuse, into this relay, to the headlights. And of course now when you're, when you're wiring this one pole that goes to your headlight, you're going to have to take another wire and like I have here, that's what these are, another wire and run across over to your other headlight where you do might not be able to see in there past all my see I'm putting wire loom on now finally I've done this months ago but the same thing in there where you cut you uh, cut the wire to the headlight and the part going into the headlight runs to the, that wire you just ran over and the other part you can just cap off I may not have mentioned it yet, but the, the reason you have two wires here is for high and low beam. So when you look at your the wires coming off of the headlight, you'll see that there's there's more than one wire. One is running the... How many is? There's three coming off of there, right? There's three wires coming off of there. I believe one is grounding it, and the other two is low and high beam. And keep in mind, it doesn't matter if you're running both of these relays. Is You just need to have the two sides hooked together. So the three wires coming out of your lights are different colors. So whatever color you have to this relay needs to be the same on the other side of the truck. But it doesn't matter per relay. Everything will still work the same way. And I hope you guys found that, uh, found that helpful. I know I sure did. I didn't see a video about it. That would have been nice. But I found pieces and bits of information all over. Hi Nova. All over the YouTube, and I mean not YouTube, all over the internet. And then we uh, we piece that together. So I hope you'll find that helpful if you're experiencing the headlight flickering issue that these trucks have. Try that out and I about guarantee you it will take care of it. That's about it for this one. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.